control your speed at all times. I wouldn't be doing Jonathan Dickinson justice if I didn't show you the new skills park. <laughs> Don't you love it when you're gelling with your bike, you're feeling centered, and you can do no wrong? All your turns are crisp, your berms are tight, you're rolling rocks, you're picking good lines, your jumps are clean, you're landing right, you're not falling, you're feeling good physically. Don't you love that? That was me last week when I was in North Carolina. But this week, back in Florida, whole different story. It's like, I got back and I started doing my regular rides. It's like I never rode a bike before. I was going off the trail. I was slipping on roots. I was casing jumps. I couldn't even turn. My whole back end was sliding out. I was just, I hit a tree. It's like, I felt like something happened. Almost like I was overconfident from being in North Carolina and I came back, I thought I was like the man. I don't know what it was, but I needed to do something about it and I got the solution. Whenever this happens to me, I head to Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Today, what I did is I dug deep into this park. I needed to get back on my bike, get back to basics, and this place is perfect for that. So I spent six hours out there practicing every single feature in the park. I took three cameras with me, I got off my bike, and I hit all of these features that I knew would help me focus back on my bike and my riding. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's different. Let me know what you think of this. I know it's long, but carve out 30 minutes and watch this video. Um, Give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and let me know what you think. I hope you like it, and I hope you learned something. We'll see ya. This trail is Ranger. Right at the top, there's a couple little jumps that are super fun. Um, nothing big. You, I believe you can actually roll them, but um, let's go check these out. like about these first two jumps on Ranger? Check them out. Look at these. There's a close-up view. Anyone can attempt these. I mean here, look, you can go around if you want to, but if you're just learning to jump, this is a jump that I would consider is for experts to beginners. You can just pop off of this and land here and just continually, gradually get longer until you can land on this downside right here. I love it. And the cool thing about it is, it's like a back-to-back -back jump. So it's not just one jump. You can hit this one, and again, look at this, it's so much fun. You don't have to clear it. It's about 10 feet from here to landing on the down right there. But you can land anywhere here. You could actually just a little jump here and pump bump this, roll that, and then go into that one. I highly recommend this. First two jumps on Ranger, get a thumbs up. All right, here's the skinny zone. There's three different skinnies. They're all difficult. The one I'm on currently is the easiest one of the three because it doesn't have any obstacles on top of the skinny. So there's that one. The one in the middle has got like pyramids and steps you gotta go over. And then the hardest one on the right actually gets a little skinny, a little skinnier. It's got some turns in it. All right, let's see if I can do this center one. Ooh. Between. <laughs> <laughs> a 
went right off. That's never happened before. Let's try this middle one. I don't know what happened there. Let's see. This one's a little tricky. Got it. Rick, I came to a complete stop. That's that first turn. That first corner is actually the hardest. Say, I got skinny practice more. Now let's try that third one. That's the rounded one. It's like an etched log. It's a skinny turn, and you know what? It's higher off the ground. It's much higher. I'm not gonna make it. Darn it. I actually went too slow right there. All right, let me try that one more time. It got a little high there. <laughs> it was higher off the ground than I thought. For some reason I'm being tentative and that's something you absolutely cannot do when you're on skinnies. You just have to roll confident. It's these little turns they got in here and some of the wood on the edges is getting slightly worn down. So I'm trying to steer. God, that is tricky right there, dude. Same exact place. All right, I'm gonna try it one more time. If I can't get it, we're gonna move on. Could be because I'm sweating in my eyes. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I'm doing it again. I have completely fallen off that skinny twice. And I couldn't tell you the last time I fell off a skinny. Usually, if I know, usually if I know I'm going to fall, I just hop off the side on my bike. But for some reason on this one, I feel like I'm going to make it. <laughs> And I'm literally just going off thinking I'm going to make the skinny. So this time, I'm gonna try it one more time, but if I'm going off, I'm gonna try and jump off. It could be my air pressure, it's like. All right, I'm going off. See, that's what I usually do. I just made the hardest part. I was just focusing so hard on that. So I'm at the tail end of prickly pear. And this is definitely one of my favorite spots. So what you want to do is end up here jumping this. But before you get here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a series of nine rollers. And it's a straight line into a jump, but I don't know what it is about it. It's just really fun. It's great roller practice. You know, roll into this slow and try and gradually pick up speed on your own without pedaling these. By pumping your feet and then getting enough speed to hit this last jump. Let's come in real slow. All feet, heavy on the feet, light on the hands, like butter. All right, so I'm here on the flow section. I'm not gonna call it a downhill flow trail. I'm gonna call it a flow section. But man, it, but it's so fun. I got to show you this. Let me give you the ground's eye view. This is where it's going to finish. This is your little kind of, you can jump it if you want, or you can just roll it right here. Hopefully no one's coming. Look at this. Nice little S curve. What I really like about it is basically you're going berm to berm, back to back, right here. I'm going to turn around. You're coming in at this point, at this point right here, 
you're coming in hot. And then what you get to do is just quick transition from left to right. And what I love about it, it goes right into that jump right there. Okay, so this is the end. So you know you're gonna have the speed when you get here. So right here, you can either pump bump this or double it, land here and hit into that S. Nice berm here, but look at this. Look, these aren't big features, but you're going at a pretty good clip. You're going fast. This is another nice berm. You come popping out of here with speed. Dang, I'm gonna walk off this whole thing. Look at this, so this is where you really get most of your speed. You come in off that first berm at the top, you hit this little table, you can either roll it or jump and dive in. But right here, right here is where you get your speed. These two pump bumps, you can double them, but I like to pump them because for me, it just really sets up the rest of the, the run. As you can see up here, this is the prickly pear kiosk. And the berm is basically right at the entrance to prickly pear. That's why I'm not sure exactly what this trail name is. I'm gonna try and find it. But I've always just called it the flow section. It could be tortoise. I don't know, let's see, there's a blue. This is where I start, look. One, two, three pump bumps. Right here, I start on that mound right there. What's the name of this trail? Okay, look, there's no name on here, but it's got a blue, it's got a blue, it's right, I start right next to where the hair trail goes left. I'm gonna ride it first, POV, and then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna stop and film some. All right, I get a little roll in off these two, and then right here is where it starts. So pump, pump, pump into this berm. Get a couple cranks here. This is where it gets really fun. You can double that, hit this, lean into that berm. Look at this. And then into another berm. Berm. Jump. Seriously. Florida flow. Yeah, we got it. We got flow. <laughs> so this is my favorite section here at um, Jonathan Dickinson. You know, they're calling it expert riders only. I don't blame them. There is a lot of tricky stuff in here. But there's also stuff that you can definitely get in here, get off your bike if you have to, and, and check it out and learn it. Um, it's just a really, there's a lot packed into a tiny little area right here. There's, you know, there's rock gardens, there's some drops, some stairs, a few jumps. They say large jumps. Maybe there's one big one at the end, but it's not a gap, it's a table. Um, there is some nice flowy berms, little small free ride areas. Uh, this is really fun. Let's ride into Bunker Hill. first time I came in here I thought it was going to be straight into this gnarly stuff, but it really isn't. It's just a few berms, and these are rollers. You don't have to jump them, you can roll them. So the entry into Bunker Hill is a blue. Here's some stairs coming up, let's see how bad these are. It's pretty steep, but not bad. Just make sure your seat is down and you're off the back of your seat. They really scare you with that sign out there. But I don't blame them. They have to do it because it's harder than most of the park. So it makes sense. Little berms are fun, but double. Should have doubled it. Should have doubled it. All right, so there was a little sign right there that said expert area right here. 
jumps ahead. Control your speed at all times. Dude, this wind too, the wind has all of a sudden just like, it was windy earlier, but now it's like crazy out of control. Control your speed at all times. Right away. All right. A cracker of a burn. Nice little set of berms. Woo! The rock garden. Jagged rock, man. Oh. Oh, that's new. This thing was not here before. You used to come down that rock garden and be able to come out with speed, roll this, and hit this like hairpin U-turn berm at the bottom. It was really fun. Now, I mean, it's almost too big for a bump jump, but you might be able to. I think you gotta come in with speed and bunny hop over it. But look at the chain ring has just been eating that thing away. I'm gonna try it again and I'm gonna just try and bunny hop it so I can maybe hop over it and keep my flow down into that that turn down there. Let's try it again. This is hard. And then bunny hop it. Oh that's tricky. I really want to get that though. This is the one I just went around and tried to do again. And what happened was, is I just went with the trail. I tried to bunny hop it. I almost bunny hopped it. I kind of pulled back because what happened is, I, as I started to bunny hop, I could, I could see what's gonna happen. Look, what some people have done. They've gone over the edge right here. So what needs to happen is, I really want to get this. It's kind of, it's a little tricky. What needs to happen is you almost need to come a little to the left and bunny hop that way to the right. You want to, you want to follow the trail, but if you're in the air, what happens is, is you land right there. There's almost no time to adjust to turn. You're going to go straight down into that mess. I'm going to try this. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure I can do it. I'm gonna try it one more time. I had the better line that time. <sighs> Left to right. That actually was much better. I just tip tip both tires on it and actually landed in the right place. I, I kind of like that. Let me try and do it and clear it this time. I'm so worried. I'm so worried about getting down to make the berm, to make the turn. I'm leaving my back end down. Come on. I'm pretty sure I can do it. I'm just, I don't know what it is. I can't get it right now. One more time. Just figured it out. Figured it out. I was going too fast. Look, this is it. Seriously, one more time. I'm I think I did it. I'm gonna look right now. If I did, it was by like that much. All right, here it is. The rock garden. The infamous Bunker Hill Rock Garden. You gotta go up it. You cannot get off the rocks. If you do, I'm not gonna count it. You have to stay on the rocks. You can go around to some of these little dirt areas, but it looks like some people are getting wise to it and they put rocks here, look, where you used to have to go around. It keeps you honest and on the rock garden. Plus, it doesn't deteriorate the trail. And you either got to go out left over that rock, that rock, or straight through the middle, which I'm going to try and do. 
And this is what happens when you ride this trail. Nuts and bolts fall off your bike. Alright. I can keep my feet on the pedals this time. Hey, I can tell you that this is tricky. Right up the rock line. It's not steep, but these rocks got made it. Whew. All right, so we are coming to an end of Bunker Hill and Jonathan Dickinson State Park. This is the top of Bunker Hill, right above the parking area. This is where most of the action truly is. If you're into little jumps, fast berms, stuff like that. Um, this is my favorite one here. There's a bigger jump line over there, which I'm going to show you in a second, but this is my favorite one. I think it was just made perfectly. The, the pump bumps are in the right place. The last time I was here, the berms are set perfectly. The jump, the lip on the jump is like just right. It's not too bucky. It just sends you exactly where you need it to. It's just, you get a little bit of everything. You get some pump bumps. You got a little drop into a berm, into a jump, into a big berm at the bottom. So I'm going to ride it with the GoPro and then maybe I'll get off and show it to you. Dang, I'm getting torn up by mosquitoes today too. All right, let's check this out. All right, here we go. You got a bumper, bumper, into the berm. No pedal necessary. That's what I like about it. Look at this. The only thing about this one is you do have this climb out right here. It's not bad, but it is. It will work you. You can go to the left here, which do not try this if you are even an intermediate because the stair drop on this is pretty steep. I definitely have seen people not get back far enough on their bike and not put their seat down far enough and they're laying on their backs right about there. But the two jumps are very, they're good. To me, they're just slightly bucky. You have to compensate for it, but they are fun. They're really fun. It's a little rush. And then let me show you the other line that's right next to it. It's a little drop right there. So they're calling this a single black diamond. This one I think will go a lot faster though. You hit this with speed. It's funny, I never did this one. I always do the stairs. Maybe I'm gonna do this today. Let's check out the whole line. I always just bypass that thing. And it appears that I like it, number one, because it's dirt jumps. Those cement ones, you know, I think that's why they might be a little lippy. But this is just a little jump, but if you had enough speed, you could probably clear this, clear this table. You can definitely roll that. I mean, you can definitely just roll this. And this is, it's a rollable little ditch. But it's, it's, I don't know if I could clear that. Yeah, I probably could clear it. I have to go fast. Maybe I'll try the little side today. I've cleared that big one. It's fun, just looks so loose right there. Let's try this right side, I've never done it. Okay, this is what we're gonna try. See if I can get enough speed here to get off this thing. It's so smooth. That's actually very fun. I almost like it better than the right side. Smaller jumps, but it's got smoother, got a little more flow. 
I wouldn't be doing Jonathan Dickinson justice if I didn't show you the new skills park. They've done a ton of work here. I mean, it looks really good. Let me show it to you. So, in the skills park is right at the parking lot. Right when you park, you come right in. There's a gate right here. Skills area. Check it out. So you can go straight in. Is a blue. Or you can take this double black skinny. And I am going to say, which I almost never do when I see double blacks, that this is a double black skinny. And I'm going to show you why in a second. Or you can do the black skinny, which is your standard skinny. It's got some turns and kinks in it, but it's long. So let's walk in between these so you can kind of see both at the same time, maybe. Yeah, look at this. This, this double black one's cool. It goes up, down, narrow. They put rocks in the middle. It's got a little height to it. Um, this one is your standard skinny here. Look at this. Around the outside of the park is a pump track. Which I need to practice on. But check this out, man. These guys are taking it next level. Look, on this double black. They cut some holes here, which could freak you out. And look at these turns. That's a tough one. This black diamond one, it's not very tricky. It's got a couple turns, but it's long. It, it's very long. It goes around, it goes around the park. It goes around the whole entire skills area. As well as this pump track. I'm gonna try the pump track for sure. I'm tired, man, I'm tired. I don't want to get hurt. I'm going to show you this stuff. Look, it's cool. They got this little bumpy ride area with rocks, a few poles. I mean, if you're a beginner, you could spend seriously hours in here. And you would feel good and confident by the time you got out of here. This is still that black skinny. It goes all the way around and the pump track's still continuing on. And they got these. These are kind of becoming standard now at the bike parks. The little drops. They got, they got four sizes here. Extra small, small, medium, and large. Or small, medium, large, extra large. However you want to call it. The cool thing with these is you can roll down them except for that one. That, the medium one right there. You got to drop it. But the bigger ones are roll downs instead of drops. But these are nice. I'm not going to ride them because you've seen videos on those. But this is a great skills park. I, I love the job they did here. So that's going to wrap it up for the day. I know I broke my rule as to never go to Jonathan Dickinson. Over 80. Over 85 degrees. But I did it anyway. It was a good time. I hope you guys liked the video and liked the park. This is a great place to ride. They do work very hard here on these trails, man. They're always in really good shape. The summertime, though, I just have to say, unless you come really early in the morning or really later in the afternoon, and try to come after a rain. Because if it hasn't rained for a while, like now, it's very, very dry. The traction is iffy. And it's just very sandy. So come check out Jonathan Dickinson and... Uh, Hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you soon.